Six, we do want to get back to that breaking news in New York City right now, where we've learned that early this morning, a suspect shot two police officers in Queens. Channel 3's Roger Susannon joins us live from the First Alert desk. Roger, you have some new information for us. That's right. We have learned brand new details about how those officers are doing as well as the investigation itself. So both officers, along with the suspect, were all injured in this shootout. All three right now are in stable conditions. Let's take you out right now to the scene. This all played out shortly before 2 a.m. right near the intersection of 89th Street and 23rd Avenue. That's in the East Elmhurst section of Queens. Just moments ago, we've learned that police confiscated what they believe is a small caliber handgun. Investigators tell us the two officers were chasing a suspect in that area when all of a sudden the suspect apparently opened fire. The officers shot back and all three people again ended up getting hit by gunfire. Now police tell us one of those officers was hit in the upper body, the other in the leg. Again, they are both in stable condition. The suspect also in stable condition in a hospital in Queens right now after they apparently were hit in the ankle. NYPD leaders are expected to hold a press conference any minute now. We'll share new information with you just as soon as it comes into our newsroom. Live at the First Alert Desk, I'm Roger Susanna Scott. All right, thanks, Roger. Six